Okay, it is June 7th, and we're up here in the Paramount Theater, and we've got Linda from Conrad Schmidt that is making a, uh, a stencil for uh, to try to make things look like they're plaster when they're really not. So, Linda, I'm probably doing a terrible job of explaining this. Would you want to talk a little bit? Sure. This is my pattern, which is just a clear sheet of acetate that I place over a plaster area that we would like to de duplicate on a flat panel. The process is called trompe It's French. It means trick the eye. So we're going to try to create a dimensional look with paint that duplicates the actual dimensional visual image of this plaster panel. So I place their plastic over the surface and taper them in place, and then trace an outline around all of the imagery with the magic marker. And then I use this as a template to place over the panels, which are just flat boards. And you can see here, I've already got my imagery copied onto this panel. These panels are going to Yeah. This is a rigging point trim that they actually, I think, support the loudspeaker system from. So that's what this is. This particular panel, the framework already has the image transferred to it, and the first coat of glaze, which is the actual glaze that we used here on the actual plaster surface. So I'm building up glazes over the flat surfaces, keeping in mind where the highlight and the shadow area is, and duplicate that with the colors of the, with the color of the place. Okay, so we're kind of midway through the process. We'll come back later, and Linda will kind of show us how it finishes up. Thanks. Linda just called me and said, Steve, I'm laying down on the floor up here finishing up this fancy French word thingy that she's doing. Hi, Linda. Hi, Steve. Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Obstacle course. What I'm doing here is I have the panel in place. And uh, now I'm using the paint remover to lift off some color and some highlight areas to duplicate that last little uh, highlight. Uh-huh. From 50 feet below, I think you probably won't even be able to see this. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> well, not, I hope it looks good. That's not, all I can do. Not going to stick your neck out, are you, Linda? Okay. No, from, from three feet away, it's amazing what you've done there. Oh, good. Yeah. I haven't stepped back yet. Okay. Some of these areas I would like to be a little darker, but I have to wait till this layer dries and then apply another layer of glaze uh -huh. to darken it. Okay. Better. Well, thanks for calling me and letting me know you're up here. You're welcome. Okay. It's not glamorous, but... Pardon me? Well, yeah, I know it's not quite as good as I could do, but I know that oh, you're giving it your, I know you're giving it your best effort. That I am. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. So Linda continues with her tromploy work. So you got a Czech guy same, saying French words, and you've got to look really close to see that she's got a panel here that you've got to literally be a foot away from it to see that it is even there as you come back away it just disappears nice job Linda <laughs>